Hi guys, I'm Sameer Sharma. You're watching your Rolling Frames Entertainment. Happy New Year once again. So today we're going to talk about a very common uh, question that I have been uh, getting from a lot of budding, budding entrepreneurs because uh, due to the rising uh, reality cost and rental cost, right, it's, it's always been a confusion that uh, I, should I be working from home or should I be working from a co-working or should I take my own uh, office space? So let's start from the very first and most economical option, which is work from home. So I want to start with the point that it's not suitable for everyone. It's fine if you're just starting up and uh, you are probably a solo entrepreneur, right? So that will make a lot of sense. There are a lot of positives to that. For example, you will save a lot of time of travel and com uh, commuting to, to and fro office, right? So there's no monotonous uh, work hours that you have to follow, right? So you can work as uh, 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 as per your choice, as per your comfort zone, right? So, but you will have to be super disciplined if you really want to achieve success while working from home. There are negatives. For example, you can be distracted a lot from the daily chores at home. A lot of guests coming over, a lot of... So, the distraction can be a big uh, thumbs down in this case. But uh, I would say still, if you're just starting out, do give it a try. I'm pretty sure uh, you will learn a lot around it. Second choice is co-working spaces which is uh, becoming increasingly popular in India especially and we have seen amazing success for that in now uh, other parts of the uh, world as well. So co-working has its own advantage especially when you're a growing business so you can actually you know take uh, the space as per your growth as per your requirement. So there are different kind of uh, opportunities you have over there. For example you can take a hot seat, you can take a dedicated seat, you can take a small conference room you know so it always uh, helpful uh, you know, while you're growing, you, you don't have to be locking with uh, any funds, any kind of uh, the contracts with them. So it's very much like pay as you go model, right? So moreover, you actually get to meet a lot of different kind of people over there, which can help you to understand new perspectives. You can actually open a lot of new horizons for you. But there are downsides. For example, uh, as a co-worker, I have seen that many times that you get uh, distracted uh, due to a lot of external noise. There will be different kind of tenants at the workplace and, uh, and there will be a lot of events happening uh, because co-working, they have their own focus as a business. Normally they do organize a lot of events. At times you are not even aligned with those events as a business, as a startup. So which is kind of you know downside. But uh, overall, co-workings are amazing, especially when you're growing. Moreover, uh, you just if you just stepped out of uh, the uh, comfort zone of working from home, so I think the perfect place to start gelling with your teams. Uh, you'll actually uh, be able to start motivating your team towards a common vision while sitting at a common place. And the third option is having your own space. Firstly, it seems like it will always be very expensive, but if you actually start calculating in a smart way, I think you should opt for your own office once you go beyond a certain team size because uh, then you'll be able to control the per seat expenses, right? So which will be uh, ever growing in a co-working environment and but in your own office space, you can always control it. Probably you can build better uh, seating capacity as per your own design. Right. Second most important thing which I believe is you can start uh, building your own culture within your own setup which is ultimately aligned with the overall company goals. But the flip side is that you'll have to start building your own resources. For example, whatever you were enjoying in a co-working space as a shared resource, for example, the HR or the accounting person or the pantry services. So in your own setup, you'll have to start building all the resources independently. So this was my point of view about uh, the pressing issue of these three choices. But as I always say, so you are unique in yourself, your business is unique in yourself. So be wise and choose your next best uh, workspace wisely. This is Sameer Sharma, keep watching us on Rolling Frames Entertainment.